Salut tout le monde, I'm Maya and I'm French and today I'm going to teach you how to pronounce brand names like French people do. And I'll go over a list of examples. Stay tuned till the end because there's a word you'll probably not even recognize and you use it quite often in English. But yeah, let's start with the video. So what you need to know before we start is, yes, in French, we are going to say all these words with a French accent. But not only that, we also kind of try to incorporate an English way of saying things, but with a French accent. It's kind of tricky, but you'll understand with the examples. So for example, the word Facebook, Facebook. We're not going to say Facebook because that's just too much. It just sounds ridiculous. So we're going to say Facebook, Facebook, right? Facebook. The book part is, sounds kind of French. Also the app Uber, Uber, right? In French, we're not going to say Uber, Uber. It just sounds silly to us. Some people might say it because kind of like as a joke, it's kind of an old school French name. So it sounds funny to us, but we're more likely going to say Uber, Uber. Uber. You see, so it's the French U, but then we're trying to say E, uh, kind of like Uber, <laughs> Uber. But of course, there's always that French R. Always make sure you pronounce the French R in all these words. So for example, Twitter, we're going to say Twitter, Twitter. It sounds pretty much the same, but it's just a French R. Last one is Instagram. Instagram becomes Instagram. Instagram. Here we really pronounce the French nasal sound. I-N in French is un. Instagram. Instagram. But what you might also see in all these examples, in all these four words, is the intonation. In French, most of the time, the intonation is at the end of a word. In English, it might be at the beginning. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Uber. It's not Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You see, in English, the intonation is at the beginning. Facebook, Facebook. Twitter, Twitter. Instagram, Instagram. Okay, so let's go over the list of other examples. Okay, let's start with McDonald. McDonald. It's hard for me to say <laughs> McDonald. In French, we're going to say McDonald. We don't say Mac, but Mac, McDonald, McDonald. But really, no one really says that. Most of the people say McDo, McDo. We love to shorten and slur words in French all the time. McDo, McDo. Then you have the brand name Nike, Nike. In French, we say Nike, Nike. You see, again, that thing where we mix a French accent with an English accent. We're not going to say Nike here because it's a very, very vulgar <laughs> French word. We say Nike, Nike. Then you have Ikea. Yes, I know it's a Swedish brand and we say it more like Swedish people say. So in America or in England, you will say Ikea. In France, we say Ikea, Ikea, Ikea. Then you have Levi's, Levi's. In French, we never ever say it like that. We say Levis, Levis, Levis. <laughs> yeah, we totally like omit the, um, like the S part, like it's Levi's, you know, it's of Levi. <laughs> we don't understand it like that at all. We just read what's written. It's Levi's. Okay, next you have Converse, or I guess you mainly say Chucks. In France, we never say Chucks. We don't even understand when uh, an English speaking person says, I love your Chucks, or <laughs> yeah, we don't, we don't even understand what they're talking about. Because we say converse and we say it in French, we say converse, converse. Here we don't even try to say it in an English way at all. <laughs> converse. There's a French R, there's a nasal sound. Yeah, everything. 
converse, converse. Then you have the brand name Diesel, Diesel. In French, we say Diesel, Diesel, Diesel. The S uh, is pronounced Z in French because it's between two vowels, Diesel, Diesel. So at least that makes it kind of sound a little bit similar. <laughs> Diesel, Diesel. Then you have Disney, Disney. In French, we say Disney, Disney. Here you see the S again. It's not the same because in French, if a S is between two vowels, it's going to be pronounced Z. But if there's a vowel and a consonant, it stays a S sound. So that's why we say Disney, Disney. We say Disneyland Paris, Disneyland Paris. <laughs> Here it's like super French too. <laughs> There's no attempt of making it English at all. Disneyland Paris. And I think if they were talking about Disney World, uh, they would say Disney World. <laughs> yeah, we're not trying here at all. But there's the uh, a little bit, world. <laughs> then you have H&M, H&M. Okay, H&M again is not an American or English brand at all, but just so you know, this is how we say it in French. We say H&M, H&M. So and in French is E, H E M, and it's like slurred together, H E M, H E M. Oh, this one's good too. <laughs> Google, Google. <laughs> I'm laughing because the French one kind of sounds ridiculous, but we're so used to saying it like that. Uh, we say Google, Google. Girl. And it's funny because girl is a French word. It's kind of a, also a slang word. It's a little bit vulgar. It means an animal's mouth. We call it une girl, like une girl de loup. Um, but girl is also a slang word to say like someone's face. It's really like, it's a nasty word. It's not nice. It's, it's really negative. Uh, it's, like it's really, it's not nice at all. And there's also a lot of swear words using the word girl. So yeah, that's how we say Google. We say Google, Google, Google. Next you have Adidas, Adidas. In French, check it out. The French tone is at the end. So we say Adidas, Adidas, Adidas. And this one is my favorite. We totally say it in a French way. And I know <laughs> it happened multiple times where English speaking people I knew didn't understand at all what I was talking about. <laughs> it's Tupperware, Tupperware. I guess we have that brand in France and we say just like a Kleenex or, you know, like we use that brand name to describe or to talk about that object. So no matter where you buy it, we're going to say a Tupperware, just like in English, where we say un tupperware, un tupperware, tupperware. And here we don't even try to pronounce it in the English way at all. The way I would explain why we wouldn't pronounce it in an English way sometimes is maybe because it's an older brand. Let's say Tupperware. I think it's been, I mean, it came to France like a long time ago. Maybe it was here in the 80s or 90s. I, I, I didn't really do my research, but... So I think back then they didn't use English as much, so they would totally pronounce the word in a French way. It's, it's just like Converse, right? Converse is a pretty old brand and it's been in France for a while too. So um, I guess that's why they say Converse or maybe McDonald's. So I guess that's why certain words we totally say it in a French accent without trying to mix a little bit. With recent ones like Facebook, Facebook, Twitter, uh, Uber, etc. We kind of now getting used to have English in our everyday life, kind of, actually. And maybe that's the difference between those two types of pronunciation. Okay, so that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful. 
uh, feel free to write other words you're curious to hear French people pronounce uh, in the comments below and if there's a, enough suggestions I may do a part two. Make sure you like this video and share it with friends. It really helps the project and it helps us and motivates us to make more videos. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications. We make videos every week. And yeah, if you want to see more of what we do, follow us on Instagram. <laughs> uh, we share content there all the time, stuff that we create and that we teach you, or just French content and videos that we like to watch that we share with you because it's really important to listen to French all the time, like as much as you can. And if you want to help out the project streetfrench.org even more, we have a Patreon page where you can donate as much as you can. There's a lot of different perks. Um, and one of our favorite is having a private Facebook group chat with our patrons where we can chat as much as you want. Like you can ask us questions anytime you want and not feel like too alone when you're learning French. We hear, but all the other patrons are here too if you want to kind of meet people. And yeah, so that's it. We, <laughs> we do a lot of different things. But yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye bye. Salut.